Imagine a busy street crammed with people desperate for a place to spend the night. Far from home, tired and hungry, happy attitudes long gone. This is where our story begins. Now imagine this story being covered by a television news network like CBS or CNN. Well, imagination will become reality tonight as the Nosy News Network presents 30 Minutes Special Report, Mayhem in Bethlehem. Winter. How cold is it? It's so cold the camels have goose humps. Ah! Mayhem in Bethlehem. Mayhem in Bethlehem. What did Methuselah's friend say to him on his 900th birthday? I don't know. What? You don't look a day old over 850. Bethlehem continues after this message from one of our sponsors. Man, are you struggling with hair loss or premature baldness? You never know it but looking at me now, but I've been losing my hair since I was a very young man. Hi, I'm Bobby Joe Debonair for Hair Repair by Debonair. My friends used to tell me, Bobby Joe, it's okay your own moose's ball is a cue ball. After all, you got the coolest come over in town. But they were just saying that to make me feel good. I was afraid to go swimming or venture outside in a windy day. One time a chicken, yes, the barnyard fowl, sat on my head like it was an egg. Sure, the yolk was on me, ha ha, but I definitely was not laughing. I was as lonely as a pity waiting for change. What changed all that, you ask? How come I'm on TV every day looking like this? Well, I'll be back in a whisker to let you into my secret. Remember, debonair will always be hair for you.
from the Nosy News Studios, here's Noah Lott. Good evening and welcome to 30 Minutes Special Report, Mayhem in Bethlehem. I'm your humble anchorman, Noah Lott. Our investigative team is working hard this hour on a big story. Let's check in with them now. Reporting live from Herod's Palace in Jerusalem is Vestigates. Good evening, Noah. Inside these palace walls, King Herod the Great has been showing unusual interest in Jewish prophecy. I'll tell you why in a moment. In Jerusalem, I'm Vestigates. Thank you, Vesta, for your investigation. <laughs> <laughs> Now let's check in with Freddy Factoid. Freddy, where are you and what's going on there? Noah, I'm on the outskirts of Jerusalem chasing a story about some wise men visiting from the east. Did you say wise men? That's a fact, Noah. I'll have details shortly. Reporting live outside Jerusalem, I'm Freddy Factoid for Nosy News Network. Also doing some field reporting, we have the lovely Miss Lorna Limelight. Lorna is truly outstanding in her field. What have you found, Lorna? P.U. I hate these assignments. I have too much class to be working outdoors like this. Oh, am I on the air? Yes, Lorna, we're live right now. Noah, how do I look? I mean, do you think the camera makes my nose look too big? Not at all, Miss Limelight. You know there's like a mountain goat walking down the gentle slopes of Mount Sinai. Well, thank you. No wonder they call you know a lot. Any news out there, Lorna? Well, not much, I'm afraid. I'm out here in this stinky pasture, shoo wee, looking for some shepherds who might know something about all the buzz in Bethlehem. But all that I've seen is a few dumb sheep. Well, stay with it, Lorna. We'll see you in the future if not in the pasture. <laughs> And of course, no 30 minute special report would be complete without our weekly feature, A Few Minutes with Randy Looney. It's all right here tonight on 30 Minute Special Report, Mayhem in Bethlehem. And I'm here with King Herod the Great. Your Highness, is it true that you are feeling threatened by all these rumors of your baby king? Threatened? Ha! Huh. Preposterous! Not in the least, my dear. I'm only curious, that's all. Permit me to explain. Tis destiny, tis fate, that made me Herod the Great. More modest than most, I don't like to boast or brag of my vast estate. I'm not in the least annoyed by a harmless baby boy. Oh please, he's no threat to me. It's easy to see, like you, I can hardly wait. When you find this child we're all desirous of, let me be the first to be informed I will give him all that he's deserving of Honor and respect and so much more Pray tell me, pray tell me Pray tell me, pray tell me When this king appears You'll be the very first to Pray tell me, pray tell me, pray tell me, pray tell me, I am so sincere. He seems sincere, seems so sincere. I am so sincere. I'm a friendly face, am I? Oh yes, the most gregarious guy. <laughs> Might I inquire, this king you desire, is he good, is he great, is he wise? I've been king for a long, long time, and I'll be king until I die. Count on it. 
I'm not insecure, my motives are pure. I'm a king with an open mind. Sing with me. When you find this child we're all desirous of, let me be the first to be informed. I will give him all that he's deserving of, honor and respect and so much more. Pray tell me, pray tell me, pray tell me, pray tell me when this king appears. I'll be the very first to know. We'll tell you, pray tell me. Pray tell me, pray tell me, I am so sincere. He seems sincere, seems so sincere. I am sincere, I'm so sincere. He seems sincere, seems so sincere. I am sincere. certainly sincere, or so it seems. He raised some important questions. Who is this supposed Messiah? Is he real? If he is, where exactly is his kingdom? That's right, Vesta, as we say in the news biz, who, what, when, where, and why. Stay tuned, we'll be right back after this word from one of our sponsors. This is your old buddy, Baba Joe, for hair repair by Debonair. You're probably saying to yourself, what in the world happened to Baba Joe to make him look so good? I'm glad you asked. Well, one day I tried an experiment with some things I found laying around the house. A jar of mayonnaise, a can of sardines, a little dill pico juice, and some leftover mac and cheese. I tossed in a secret ingredient I call Formula D, and I mixed it all up in a blender. Then I rubbed it on my head, Break it with baking soda and let it sit for 24 hours. One look in the mirror and I said, well, hello, handsome. I began growing hair like a chia pet on steroids. <laughs> you might say it was a hair-raising experience. Oh, and did people ever start to notice? The reason I know is the kind of looks with astonishment all over their faces. Well, I'm out of time for now, but I got lots more to tell you later. Don't go away. Debonair will always be here for you. report on the wise men. Let's go back to the very reliable Freddy Factoid. Freddy? No, Noah, I've got some breaking news. I just spoke with some wise men from the East. They had a meeting with King Herod about a star that's leading them to Bethlehem. They say the star is a sign from God showing the way to the Messiah. I'm looking at a map. Say, that's only six short miles from here. Well, here's what they told me.
Well, Freddy, I have to admit, I'm beginning to wonder whether there's something to this story. The facts are persuasive, Noah. If we don't watch out, we'll become believers, too. <laughs> we'll see, Freddy. Thank you. Let's sum up what we've learned so far. A, ancient prophecies foretell a Messiah. B, wise men from the East claim to be following the star to a baby king. And C, Lorna Limelight seems to have stepped in something. Ha! <laughs> But seriously, folks, the more we know about this story, the more it makes sense. Still, a good reporter has to ask questions. Who is this Messiah? Is he a king who has servants? And who are they? Two starry-eyed sightings and rabbis' old writings mean anything at all. Prophets pre are they truth or are they fiction? Will history reveal that the mystery was solved? Who is the Christ child Messiah? Is he someone we should know? Does he have servants who love him? And bow to him? crown that shines brighter than snow. Who is the Christ child Messiah? Is he someplace we could go? Is there a king or nearly a dream? Please tell Did you find them? Yes, and what a story they told me. They were tending to their flocks when suddenly the night sky lit up like it was daytime. 
Angels appeared out of nowhere, and they were singing. Here's what they said. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, a sign wondrous what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Star of wonder, star of Welcome back, friends. Thanks to Hair Repair by Debonair, I've sat a reeving urchie two long weekends at home watching tractor pulls and pick a lint out of my bell button. After I tried Hair Repair by Debonair with Secret Formula D, people said things like, Baba Joe, what's different about you? You're so youthful. Or Baba Joe, what's your secret? You seem so confident. Even your golf game has improved. People can't seem to take their eyes off me. It's almost embarrassing. Man, if you want that kind of attention, just try Hair Repair by Debonair with Secret Formula D. Pick up the phone right now and dial 555 Hair. That's three fives and a hair. I guarantee you'll be saying, Hair today, more tomorrow with Hair Repair by Debonair. Pick up the phone right now and dial 555 Hair. Until next time, this is your old buddy. Bobby Joe's saying, Debonair will always be hair for you.
once the wise men and now the shepherds. It looks like everyone's heading for the same tiny town, Bethlehem. And when you consider the people going there to pay taxes, that's a recipe for only one thing, mayhem in Bethlehem. And ladies and gentlemen, you can count on 30 minutes to have our noses right in the middle of it. But before we take you there, it's time for our weekly feature, A Few Minutes with Randy Looney. Here's that lovable grouch himself, Randy Looney. You know I find annoying? Do you know what makes me so nervous? My eyebrows start twitching. It's all these different ways to serve coffee nowadays. It used to be as simple as ordering a cup of gel as to sign up cream or sugar. Now you have decisions to make. I mean, life's complicated enough without this flavor coffee nonsense. Look, I'm not against choices, but it's kind of ridiculous. We want to decide what you want in your coffee, you decide what kind of coffee you want. They've named coffees after exotic places I haven't even heard of. Here, look at this menu I picked up the other day. Here's one called Pango Pango Tangerine Extremo. What is that? Oh, here's another one. Brazilian Rainforest Save the Monkeys. Oh, what's this one all about? Decaf Himalayan Holly Roast Blend? That's not confusing enough. Next, something to put in it. Get squirt of vanilla or chocolate. Even some cream for goodness sake. Done yet? Not a chance of clerks is. Want a peppermint sixer? Cinnamon? Nutmeg? I'm exhausted. Whose idea was this anyway? If I wanted my coffee to taste like dessert, I just drop an umple dumpling into it. Maybe I'm old fashioned, but I want coffee to taste like, well, coffee. Can I please have a cup of black coffee? Is that too much to ask? I'm Randy Looney. I'm Randy Looney. I'm Randy Looney. Thanks, Randy. This is Noah Lott with my colleague, Lorna Limelight, and we're on location between Jerusalem and Bethlehem, where we're doing some man on the street interviews. Ah, here comes the one now. Sir, what's your name? Michael. And where are you from, Michael? I'm from the corner of Gold Street and Pearl Avenue. 7777 Gold Street to be exact. And that's in what city? <laughs> Uh, that's in heaven, sir. Heaven? heaven? I suppose next you're going to tell that you're an angel in disguise. Exactly. I'm in charge of a battalion of angels on a special assignment. Yeah, right. If you're an angel, you got to prove it, mister. All right, if you insist. Now? We sure do! I gotta own up to a true confession. You didn't make much of a first impression. Looked like a normal guy to me. Ordinary. Like an 
Ladies and gentlemen, we're in Bethlehem where we've uncovered some fabulous facts. Freddie? I've researched the prophecies and they all checked out. Here's one pro from the prophet Micah. Bethlehem, you are one of the smallest towns in the nation of Judah, but the Lord will choose one of your people to rule the nation, someone whose family goes back to ancient times. Isn't it wonderful, Freddie? God chose the little town of Bethlehem. Here's another one. Scripture predicts that the Messiah will come from the tribe of Judah. To quote the book of Genesis, the scepter, the word scepter means leadership, should not depart from Judah. And of course, our, the earthly father of Jesus is our new friend, Joseph. I see Joseph is from the tribe of Judah, so that's another prophecy fulfilled. There's more. Listen to the prophet Isaiah. Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. The virgin will be with child and give birth to a son, and will call him Emmanuel. Wow, that prophecy describes Mary perfectly. Freddie, what does Emmanuel mean? It means God with us. That could only point to one thing. The baby Jesus is God in human form. As reporters, we, we came to Bethlehem in search of a story, but instead, the story found us. Traveling to Bethlehem, we've asked the questions who, what, when, where, and why. But now, in the presence of Jesus, God has a question for us. Will you receive my son as your Savior and Lord? How do you answer that question, Vesta? I will follow Jesus. Freddie? Without a doubt, so will I. Lorna, what about you? I want Jesus to be the center of my life, too. That makes it unanimous. I want Jesus to be the anchor of my life. What a lovely baby Mary had. What a lovely baby Mary had. Must have come from heaven to turn out this way. What a lovely baby. To anyone who will receive him. Long ago, the prophet Isaiah wrote, Have you believed our report? Tonight, 30 Minutes would like to ask our viewers a similar question. Do you believe our report? If you will only ask, Jesus will come into your heart, right in the middle of mayhem of your life, and he will give you peace.
That's all for tonight's edition of 30 Minute Special Report. Thanks for tuning in to the most trusted name in news. Good news, that is. For the Nosy News Network, I'm Vesta Gates. I'm Freddy Factory. I'm Lorna Limelight. And I'm Noah Lott. Reminding you, we report, you decide. Don't forget, Debonair will always be here for you. Aww.